the reason I took the job and what I knew about the system was it, it's truly one of the finest university systems in the country and, and we know that and we're so proud of it and the people of North Carolina know that and uh, it, it was an opportunity for me to put my money where my mouth is. I've been talking about policy issues for a long time at the state and federal level and when I saw this opportunity I thought man put me in coach and it's just been a thrill and an honor. I'm humbled by the responsibility but so excited about the opportunities here. Reflecting back on my first year, I would say that I really needed to get about the state and, and meet the people of the system, meet the students, hear from them. How are we doing? What do we do well? What can we improve on? See some of that public spiritedness that we see in faculty and staff. The commitment is absolutely palpable and it was invigorating and inspiring and of course I learned a lot. Uh, secondly, uh, you know, to, to really understand policy makers and we need to make sure that we're hearing them and, and because they're in touch with, uh, with the public in ways that sometimes we're not. So it's a great way to, to learn about uh, the state. You know, we all know that if, if we're successful in this country, it's because we've had access to a quality education. As I toured the state of North Carolina, what really struck me and stood out was the commitment that faculty and staff have to students. They will go the extra mile. They do go the extra mile. So I've heard stories of they gave me my cell phone, they met me on a Saturday, they uh, worked with me after class, on and on. What, that's one thing. And secondly, I heard from people in those communities what a, what a source of pride, what a center of civic engagement, of intellectual life these universities are in their, in their own towns and in their regions. And I think that's what has made for the strong support by the public for this university.